okay so yesterday we have discussed about the uh, sling model and today we are discussing about the uh, components uh, it is yeah today we are discussing about the annotations uh, of sling model so first of all we'll start from the inject what does it mean by the inject and why we are using it okay so uh, for example consider consider now you have a node property like uh, some of the node property that we have like inside the node property user enters some value like first name a uh, first name and this name you want in your sling model what does it mean by the sling model it's just simpler pojo classes it's simpler uh, pojo what does it mean by the pojo uh, your plain old java object that means only variable is there you can just simply create a variable and whatever value you want to store it you can easily store it okay and is it entirely annotation driven that means all the things you can achieve it by using annotations like if if you want to inject the properties from the crxd to a sling model that means in your java so for that we have a added it inject annotation so you can for example here this is my crxd that we have and after that inside i'm going in my content folder this is my folder here our actual information is stored just come here here we have a weekend us and the en otherwise just go in uh, here just go inside the search us en is there and the content is there after that uh, these are nothing but your properties this jcr title cq cq templates these are nothing but your properties whatever you have entered okay and these properties if you want in your sling model that means in your coding language here so how we can achieve it so for that we have a adder it inject annotation you can simply use it so here i'm just using this adder it inject and keep in mind wha whatever the name that you that you have defined in your cq dialog so the same name we have to define here like here here you see i'll give you an example here we have a adder it inject this is the adder it inject i have and here i have used the text text field this is our text variable so that variable i have defined here inside our en or somewhere that i have defined this variable that's why uh, this name the same name i have defined here as well otherwise uh, it will shows the ambiguity error. why because of it not ambiguity it will reflect the conflict that means uh, here the same name that we have here as well and the here then uh, the value will transfer from this text variable to this text model yeah so that name must be same for this inject so whenever you are using inject that name must be same okay so what is the data type here i'm defining a public this variable and after that you can just simply come here and check the data type consider this one is your uh, text property consider this one is your text property and the data types of the text property is string so here we have to define the string here we have to define only string so just uh, come here and just define the string and your name your name is text yeah and it has some properties okay so this is a inject and this type we can define it okay uh, so add direct inject it's not only used for your properties only here you have defined the properties only so it's not used only for your properties if you want to take the services you can easily take by using add direct inject like you have a oagis service here we have one concepts of the oagis service and if this oagis service you want to adapt in your current class in your current sling model this is your sling model here you want to adapt your uh, OHGI services you can easily adapt it by using a add direct inject but they have uh, they have introduces another annotation that is add direct OHGI service here we have a add direct OHGI service by using you can easily take all your OHGI services okay but uh, they will ask you a uh, interviewer will definitely ask uh, it is possible to inject OHGI services by using add direct inject so yes it is possible yeah so we have uh, our own annotation 
separate annotation that is at OHGIS service by using we can easily inject the OHGIS services but we can inject the OHGIS services by using at inject as well okay after that maybe if you want to add some pages so page related information is there you can easily adapt by using at inject here we have a structure how at inject works internally so for first it will come inside your script variable later it will come in your value map value after that it will execute this resource path just consider now this is the f name property that you have so first of all it will try to search in your script variable later that it will try to search in your value map after that in your resource path later it will try in your child resource after it will try to find out in your request attribute later that it will try to find out in your OHGIS service so it's very uh, time taking process so don't use that one you can directly use the address OHGIS service for achieving the services you can simply use value map value for if you want to adapt the properties then you can simply use a value map value okay there we have a concept of value map value uh, uh, this is the OHG, uh, address inject after that we have a name property what does it mean by the name property for example you have one property that is jcr colon created okay yeah la, uh, or last modify come here and i'll tell you come here please just simply here here we have one property that is fling colon resource type yeah and i want this value inside your eclipse in our fling model so how we can do that thing if i try to create like this see i am using add the red value map value for direct accessing okay so now i'm defining public string here what's the data type that is string okay so here i'm using string and after that what is the name of uh, name of your property that is fling resource type if i try to write fling resource type it will shows the exception okay it will thro throwing the error why it's throwing error because of you cannot define the variable like this okay variable must be defined with underscore and we can define with a camel kill yeah it's not defined with the name numbers and the symbol except underscore so we cannot define like this and uh, maybe your name is too long this is your name and you don't want to define uh, you don't want to store this value inside this big name so for that uh, we have one concept that is name property name annotation you can simply use this name annotation okay so when i'm using this name what i want to store here see so here i'm just simply using name property and inside this name you can simply use whatever you want like you said jci created sorry a uh, sling resource type now and you can change the data type from here okay so here i'm just simply saying it's a resource type now this is nice so whatever the value that is present inside here this is only your key your property so when you are when you are trying to achieve this sling column resource type you will get the data that means if you try to access this one if you try to fetch this one you will get this data okay so this data whatever the data that is present here it will automatically assign to this resource type who this name property so this is the use cases if you want to define some different data types different name of your variable then you can simply use this name property yeah after that we have a default what does it mean by the default like sometimes this is your CQ dialog consider and here you have some of the fields like first name last name and some age is there okay so users are entering a value but consider sometimes they haven't written anything like they uh, they haven't filled anything this information this information these fields are empty so in this case maybe the chances is there maybe compiler throws the null pointer exception yeah maybe it will throws the null pointer exception so for that for that 
they introduces one annotation that is default if you uh, if you want to add some default value inside your field then you can simply use this you can simply use this default annotation so right now i have created some of the fields consider i have created some of the field like a uh, htl value that i have created uh, like first name somewhere yeah this is the role number that i have created and user haven't enter anything if i'm going here inside this page here we have options of the role number okay here we have a role number and consider user haven't enter anything inside here um, so maybe chances is there to throws the null pointer exception so to prevent that null, null pointer exception you can simply use the default so you can simply use default here and inside here we have one property that is values and you can add whatever the role number that you want as a default you can simply use here so what this time this time if you are not entering anything and you are tr uh, trying to right click it so by default it will store the 12 by default it will store this 1 2 3 here so why it's not throwing now because we haven't deployed till it so we have to deploy later that this uh, these things will reflect there okay so this is the thing this is for the this is for the default so we can add more than one value as well if you want to define as a array if you want to define more than one value then you can simply use the array and how we can use the array if you want to define the array as an integer then you have to define this property you have to use this attribute that is int value int values and here we know that we define the array like this okay and we and uh, here if you are defining as an array so you have to accept as an array as well see here they have accepted as an array after that we have a via property via now just come here and here you see see uh, we have a normal class consider we have a normal class that is a and if you want to convert this normal class into an sling model then for that we have to use add the rate model annotation that we knows already but the thing is this normal class if you want to convert as a resource then we have to adaptable we have to use one property that is adaptable and here in double quotes we have to use resource dot class is it no we have to define resource dot class yeah and maybe chances is there i don't want resource the resource dot class then instead of resource dot class i will use a sling http servlet request here we have options of sling http servlet request dot class yeah so you can use anything this one otherwise this one or you can use both but maybe some cases is there so you are using only the sling http servlet request and i already told you some of the annotations are applicable only for this sling http servlet request and some of the annotations are applicable only for this resource dot class yeah but when i'm using this when i'm using resource dot class and i want to use this annotation whatever the annotation that are applicable to sling http servlet request i want to use it or i am using this sling http servlet request as a class level here adaptable equals to sling http servlet request and i want to use this resource dot class annotation whatever the annotation that are support uh, supported to this uh, resource dot class this annotation i want to use it so for that for that we have one annotation that is via you can simply use it so i'll just give you one example like uh, some of the annotation that we have like default annotation okay at the rate default annotation we have default annotation we have inside i am writing some value consider it otherwise we have another annotation that is value map value okay so this annotation by default supported to a resource dot class yeah and consider i am using sling http servlet request and i want to use the uh, annotations of the resource dot class so for that you have to use the add the rate via 
and here you can simply mention so this uh, annotation whatever i'm using you have to define this up so whatever the annotation that we are defining uh, inside the uh, whatever the annotation we are defining uh, so that annotation are related to a resource so who tell that why so you have to write resource here you can simply write the resource okay so i have written the resource as well uh, so this is the thing i'll i'll tell you the shortly so here i'll just give you one example here i'm using sling http servlet request and uh, this okay so this property this property is related to a resource this property is related to a resource for that i have uses the adder rate via and resource or uh, this property is also uh, Uh, re related to a sling is a uh, resource that class so for that i have uses this via annotation this is the thing after that we have a script variable what does it mean by the script variable so consider now i'll tell you one example i want to retrieve the pages so i'll consider in my i have a lot of pages and these pages i want to retrieve okay i want to get in my sling model so how we can get it so for that we need a page interface by using the page interface we can easily get it but but uh, to perform the crude operation on the page we need a page manager what we need we need a page manager page manager is responsible to perform the crude operations on a page so if i want to retrieve something so we have to use the page manager so so consider this is the object of the page manager and i am getting the page it has one method that is get page and here i have one content maybe this is us and inside this us we have a lot of pages so these are the pages i am getting okay so this get page return the object of the page here i am using the page yeah now what we got we got the page yeah but we have to define this page manager somewhere otherwise how we can get directly so we have to define this page manager somewhere so how we can define this page manager in our sling model so for that you can simply use the script variable so the script related information if you want to provide in your sling model for that we have to use a script variable like you can do like this at the red script variable and here if you want to use the page then you can simply define the page and here you can use current page or something anything like here i'm using the current page so what i did now i have created one variable okay i have created one variable that is page variable and uh, it will automatically see so some somewhere this is my component consider this is my component and where is this component this component i have inserted in my en page this component where i have inserted in my en page so this script variable automatically take this en page and whatever the information that is present inside your en this all the information will go inside your where is my pen yeah so all the information will go inside your page manager and by using this page manager you can easily get the pages and you can store these pages in your page and if you want to iterate it you can easily iterate yeah this is related to a script variable and here we have a post constructor why we are using post constructor see so here i have defined the get method i already told you sling model is nothing but your pojo classes here this is the thing that means you can only define the variable and the getter method instead of that you cannot define anything so here entire my class i have defined only the variables you can see and i have created the getter method see this is the method that i have created getter here second one third one fourth these are nothing but your get getter method but consider you want to create one method some normal method you want to create it Uh, like public void and the init 
consider this method you want to create and here you want to perform some logic so how we can create this normal method in our sling model so if you want to create then we have one option that is post post construct you can use this annotation by using this annotation we can we can easily create the method inside your sling model except get okay if you want to create the get method then you can easily create without using post control but there is a one rule there is one rule all the property here we have a lot of properties like a modify by first name date of birth roll number resource type id text these are nothing but your uh, properties okay these are nothing but your properties so all the property first it will inject later that this method will call that means whatever the data that is present here that user user now entering configuring some data and user configure it so this data first it will inject in this variable in this variable that data will inject and after that this method will call why this because of maybe some chances is there whatever the variable that you have you are using inside here like this is the text that you are using id you are using so if this method is called first then it hasn't injected then it will store the null value maybe inside this it will store the null value so when it will store the null value so it will throws the null pointer exception so that's why we have to inject this text uh, this field first we have to inject it this field first and after that you can define you can execute this post construct method so how we can define post construct you can simply use add direct and here you can define post construct that is nice here we have an example so this is the say hello uh, this is not a getter method okay this is just simple and normal method and this method you want to define then you can simply use the post construct yeah that's nice after that we have a self annotation what does it mean by the self now i'll tell you this is my class here you see what is this this is my class and i have injected i have adapted this class as a resource dot class okay but this resource dot class as applicable to our entire class okay to our class level but the thing is now this resource dot class i want to inject like this resource dot class i want to inject like this so it won't possible why because of so what does it mean exactly so this resource dot class is nothing but where you are using your pro component here you are using this component here so uh, here you are using this component that means all of these things all the nodes of related to this component it will automatically injected here in this resource okay in this resource all of these things will automatically injected and this thing now from that you want this anything you want it so how we can do that so it's not possible why because of you have given to this class level but you haven't given to the field level so if you want to define this resource as a field label for that we have a self annotation you can simply use the resource resource and here i'm just defining the resource simple that means uh, now all the all your resources that is stored inside your resource dot class and if you want to define this as a field then you can simply use add direct self yeah, and by using this self you can easily now all the resources where it is present inside this resource object by using that you can easily get whatever you want so lot of method must be present we have to we, we don't need to use here we have to use somewhere else so maybe lot of method that is present inside your resource dot class you can uh, easily achieve it this method and by using that you can easily get this you can easily get this information yeah this information okay now after that we have a resource path what does it mean by the resource path so i'll tell you see so consider maybe in your properties here this is nothing but your path okay this is nothing but your 
path otherwise this is uh, this is your path okay and if you want this types of information like path types of information you want it and here inside that consider we don't have any information yet wait a minute yeah here we have this is the custom information okay this one is our custom information now that we have here maybe somewhere we have a path see here we have one concept that is value map value by using value map value you can easily retrieve the fields but what's about the path if you want to retrieve the path from your properties for that we have one annotation that is resource uh, resource path you can directly achieve the sling resource type so here we have a l1 property but in this l1 properties we have only one path one path value that is sling resource type so it will not search this l1 it will directly come in it will directly come inside the property and it will execute this sling resource type so for that you have to use this resource path okay so consider now i'm just using at the rate resource path this is the annotation that i am using but for that you have to use one attribute that is path attribute and after that here you have to pass the value so consider this is my content and content have em so this is my value so this value now i have defined here but it will return the resource data type see whenever you are using this annotation that is resource path so for that you have to define the resource interface why because of this uh, resource path annotation return the resource interface so whatever the value that you are fetching it will store inside this variable so it will store inside this variable okay and by using that variable now all the information related to this page it's coming it came inside your resource now you can easily get it whatever you want so now i want resource dot uh, get page or get title so you can get the title of this page if you want something like a path of this page you want the path of this page then you can simply type resource dot get path okay and uh, we already knows that in our sling method we have to create the getters so you can simply create a getter like this public a uh, string it's returning a string and you can simply use get title this is the get title and here you can simply return like a resource dot get title yeah this is the get title and curly braces close now this method will return the title of this page so when you call this method how we can call so consider this is the object that we i have in my sitely uh, by using data slice use i have created this and we have to remove the get and make t as a small and we have to call it so and this thing we have to mention in our expression language so we call it simple we have a, uh, this is not this is a child resource if you want any child pages as well then you can simply use this child resource after that here we have a request attribute so what are whatever the important it is that i am explaining okay so here we have a request attribute what does it mean by the request like this is the page i have here you see what is this this is my html page somewhere we have a html page so we have to find out like this is my html page this one yeah and here now i want to pass some value from html htl to sling model some some time we have to pass the information from here maybe some session or some value if you want to uh, tracking the session yeah so you can pass is from htl to sling model maybe some attributes we need to pass it from htl to uh, sling model so how we can do that so for that you have to use like this so here we have options of here this is the address address represent the options so instead of that you are returning some optional value so for that we have to use this uh, option symbol option 
okay after that here i'm defining the attributes and here i'm defining the value so this is nothing but your value that means it has some meaning that's why i'm passing that's we are that's why we are passing from here to sling model yeah so this so when somebody try to call this uh, htl attribute so he will get this htl value so where it will call so it will call inside your sling model then how we can achieve this uh, this slightly attribute this slightly option so by using request attribute we have one annotation that is request attribute maybe somewhere that request attribute is present yeah here you see so i uh, this is the request attribute annotation if you want to get uh, the value or attributes from your htl to sling model you can easily use this request attributes and here we have one property that is name and here we have to define the key so what uh, this is the key and this is the value so we have to define the key and we will get the value so you have to define like this and we already knows that every annotation return something in our sling model so for that we have to create the variable so his his taking some value is taking some value so this value must be stored somewhere so this value is storing in our htl value in this variable okay this is the things of uh, request attributes here we have a colors so you are passing this color so from where you are passing so for that i am using data slash use in my htl i am creating one object and inside that we have to double use double quote curly bracket and here we have to use our sling model object uh, class and after that here we have to use options and here we have to pass the htl key and htl single quote htl value at the same uh, we have to use dollar double quotes double quotes and done so now uh, this is the thing uh, that is uh, no the not this color so now when you call this color property here then you will get this htl value inside this param that means what is stored now inside our param that is htl value this is thing and after that you can simply create the getter method and you can easily return this so anyone call this method he will get this htl value after that we have a sling object so if you want to define request this this request is an interface and this response so if you want to define a uh, request response resource resolver resource and the sling script handler this types of uh, object if you want to define in your sling model for that we have one annotation that is sling object so this annotations are related to your sling so sling is responsible to execute your nodes here J just like our java we have a uh, we have a compiler in our java the same we have a sling in our crxd for the crxd so these are the sling related object okay so if you want to define this object then you we have to use this sling object okay and here we have a value map value what does it mean by the value map value so uh, basically see this is the property what does it mean this is the property and uh, it has one class that is value map value value map value value map value it is a class and uh, it has created one global object we have one global object that is property okay so whatever the property that you want from here you can simply use this properties and consider this is the thing that you want gci created so you can call properties dot jcr created jcr colon created maybe anything so you will get this value whatever the value that is present here but this one is our annotation so if you want anything from this properties you can simply use this annotations and you will define the name of this property okay so now i want this jci created you can simply define this uh, value map value and here 
I'm just defining JCI created now what I got I got the value of the JCI created so whatever the value that is present here I got this okay so that is done now